Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be talking to you about our Live Agent Call Center software. I'll be getting into the basics of what it is and how it's used, and I'll be showing it from both the customer's point of view and the agent's point of view. Let's get started. So how does the call center software work? Well, from the customer's point of view, they have two options. They can either call you through their phone or they can browse your website and look for the to call button, like the one we have down here um, in the footer of our website. All they would have to do is click on the phone number and then the call would be executed through the website. Once the call is made, LiveAgent will pick up the call and present the IVR menu options to the caller. Once the caller makes their selection, they will be routed to the most appropriate agent. To get your call center up and running, you will need to purchase a phone number, also known as a SIP trunk, from any provider for local prices. Please head on over to our website, liveagent.com slash VOIP partners forward slash to see a list of our current providers. If there's a provider that you'd like to use that isn't currently mentioned on our site, please feel free to contact us and we'll be happy to add them to our partners list. One last thing that I should mention in regards to our call center software is that there are no extra permanent charges. So how does the live agent call center work from the agent's point of view? Well, the agents have four options when it comes to answering calls from customers. One, they can answer through their browser. Two, they can answer on their hardware phone that is connected to their live agent account. Three, they can forward the calls to their personal phone numbers. Or four, they can answer through the Live Agent mobile phone app that is available on both Google Play and the Apple Store. If you're an admin inside Live Agent, you also have the option to add an unlimited number of devices and connect them to Live Agent. As you can see right over here, you have the option to create and add more devices. And as I said, there is an unlimited amount of devices that you can add. Before we get into the demo, it's important to know that Live Agent only transfers calls to agents that are currently available and online. It does this through priority routing, current call loads, or any custom rules that you can set, it, set up within Live Agent. So before we get into the demo, I'd like to walk you through all the steps of what I'm going to be doing. So first, I'm going to be dialing the Live Agent demo phone number from my phone. And then once it starts ringing, I'll be listening to the IVR menu selection on speakerphone so you guys can hear it. Then I'll make my IVR selection. And then once the call starts ringing inside my Live Agent app, um, I'll answer it, talk into the phone a little bit, and then we'll hang up and then we can uh, look inside the ticket details together and we can listen to the playback or, and call recording um, afterwards. So let's get started. Let me navigate over here to my Live Agent dashboard and let me start off by calling the Live Agent demo phone number. So let me call and I'll put it on speaker. Please wait while we connect you to the first available agent. Press one for sales. So I'm going to be press pressing to request callback. One, press for sales. one for sales. Press two. Please wait while we connect you to the first available agent. Now I'm going to be waiting for it to ring inside of Live Agent. I'll take it off of speaker. So you can hear it right over here in my dashboard once it's going to be ringing. So it might take a few seconds. And here it is, as you can see, it's ringing. I'm going to answer the phone call. I'm going to mute myself on one end because it's going to make too much of an echo. And now that we've said a few sentences, I can hang up the call and we can look at the call recording. So we're over here, as you can see, the system already registered that I called and I picked up the call. I even made an IVR selection for one and I pressed the sales department and now we can listen to the recording. I'm going to mute myself on one end because it's going to make much of an echo. And now that we've said a few sentences, I can hang up the call. All right, guys, so that's how it works. And just so you know, if you want to, you can continue the conversation with your customer through live chat or email right inside this ticket thread. And if you're curious about how you can do that, please head on over to our channel and look for the video quick help desk overview uh, video. And that's where it'll be shown. And so if you have any other questions or anything like that, please leave them down in the comments below. And I'll be also linking that video, the quick help desk overview below so you can watch it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.